Hello again. Today's little project, we're going to transfer this butterfly onto the MDF, cut all the white sections out on a fret saw, and then we're going to attempt to put some resin, coloured resin, into each section to make a nice butterfly. And we can hang it in the window and give it a stained glass effect. But first of all, we need to stick that onto your MDF. Good old painter's tape. Cover that first, spray yourself some nice glue on, like so, and then we'll stick that there, and then we're good to go. I'll pop that on first. Right, we've got that all stuck down, put the tape down, we've glued it, that's all ready to go now. So what we need to do is go down into the workshop and drill pilot holes into every one of these because we're going to have to feed the blade through on the fret saw, scroll saw, whatever you want to call it. These smaller ones, I don't think I'll even attempt to cut those out. I might just be a bit lazy and just get a nice size drill that's going to fit those and just drill them straight in. These ones we'll cut out, but all these we'll just use a drill. So everything's going to be cut out now. And like I say, we're going to fill it in with coloured resin later, let it set, and we'll hang it up and see what it looks like. Let's go down into the workshop. Right, we've made all the pilot holes now. These are for the blade to go through. And as you can see, I use pin blades. So that has to be big enough to fit that pin through there, which we know it does. So we'll set this up on the fret saw and we'll start our first cut. Okay, that's all set up now. Let's go for our first cut and see what we got. Okay, that's our first cut done. All we have to do now is move the blade like so. And we'll pop that in to the next one and we'll start all over again. So I'll finish this off and I'll come back to you at the end. Okay, we've about cut that out now. We'll peel this tape off, give it a quick sanding down, and then we'll move on to uh, 
the paint. Okay then, so we've finished that one. It's all cut out nicely. I basically just got a drill piece and just drilled all the way around there. These should be more oval, but I'm quite happy to leave them. So now we're going to paint it black. So hopefully the colour resin will stand out a lot better. And I'm just using satin black wood and metal paint. Ideally you could spray this with black, it would be a lot quicker because the resin is going to fill the insides. But uh, as I don't have any black spray, I'm just going to crack on with this. Right, we've painted that now. That's come out nice. I actually like this butterfly on this board as a finished picture. But as it's called butterfly with resin, we're going to have to fill all these gaps in with some nice coloured resin, then I'll put it up in the window. So this is just an easel board, nice flat surface, something that we can carry it around and put somewhere else. Now, there's a few options. You might think you'd be able to clamp that to that and just fill them in. You're going to have trouble getting that resin off. So what I've found is this stuff called transparent book covering film. It's basically like a giant sellotape and it comes in meter lens. So what I'm going to do is peel the back off one of these, stick that to the back of that. It's always going to be nice and clear. It's going to stop the resin and I think we could leave that on there permanently and just cut round this and just leave that little film at the back just to hold it in place but we'll see when we get on how we get on with this so i'll peel this off stick it in position and then we'll have a look right we've got that covering on now that's all stuck down nicely like i say it's a trial and everything but you can just see there that's all nicely got a, a back on it actually looks like wings now to be honest and that's going to stay in place. We fill all these in with different coloured resin. Cut round it at the end. And I'm going to leave that transparent stuff on the back. Just to help it a bit. So let's start mixing this resin up. And start filling in this beautiful butterfly. And see what we end up with. Right, the resin I'm going to use today is a water clear casting resin. With an hardener. Get myself some beakers. I'm going to mix a certain amount and then put an inch into separate ones and then add the separate colours. This all come as a kit form, come in one, one go. It's not my favourite. I do prefer the epoxy. This stuff just smells terrible and it's all a temperature thing and you've got to get it right. So when it says 24 hours to set, don't believe that. Let's leave it three or four days personally. To set solid so i'm going to use this only because i've purchased it so i'll mix it up i won't show you the mixing procedure every instruction is different per resin so it all depends which one you get so i'll mix this up put it into the separate containers and then we'll do a bit of filming of putting it into the butterfly wing okay there's our colors all mixed up I'm going to run short, so I will be mixing some more of this. Personally, I think the, the orange looks a bit weak looking. The green looks fine, the red looks fine, and the blue indigo, I think that, that looks fine. Good thing about it, you can pour it into the shape, and then you can always drop a bit in afterwards and mix it. So there's our five colours. Personally, I would like a white, but I have no white, but we're going to crack on. So get, let's get this dropped into our butterfly now. Okay, we're going to put our first colour on now. I've got my butterfly on a nice flat surface and I've also sat it on top of a tray because this transparent tape stuff, it might just give away and we've lost a lot. So we're going to pop the first one in and start filling these in. Okay, what I do is uh, these plastic knives they're brilliant for steering because also they've got a little lip on the end and it, it's like having a little spoon on the end. 
So I've got no idea where the colours are going to go, but they've obviously got to be the same either side. So I'm going to start off with these two in the middle. We'll fill these in with the red, and then we'll see. You'll get the general idea. It would normally fill itself, it's no problem. Just give it a little help along. Try and fill it in level, because as the resin dries, it will shrink a bit. So it'll end up going in the dip. That's pushed along there nicely. Same on this side. You can always go around afterwards and top it up a bit with clear stuff. Best bet to get down a level. I can see we want a bit more in that one, so there's your little scoop I was on about. And just, just top them up. And there's your can. Right. Looking at that, I think that's about spot on. So I'll continue with the next colours and then fill it all in. Okay, so we've started filling in the wings on the butterfly. I'm just doing random colours as I come along. I've run out, so I'm going to have to mix another little batch. So I'll fill the rest up, and then we'll come back at the end. Oh. If you remember speaking about the leakage, if you can just see there, look, just starting to seep out a bit there, so... I've got to get some weight on this and keep it pressed down. And the rest of it stayed pretty cool. I wish I had some white pigments to go around here. I think that would have really been cool if I'd gone around the edges with a white colour. But no big deal. Once it's up against the window, it should look a lot better with the light shining through. Not too pleased with this yellow here. Okay, that's finished. We're going to put it in a spare room for a couple of days. Get a weight on top just to press it down. Just the MDF could be slightly bevelled. Just on this little corner here. But the rest of it's pretty cool. So we'll put it away for now and we'll come back when it's nice and set. Right, we've left that long enough now. That's been a good five days that's been sat and the resin still wasn't setting. Anyways, let's continue. Did the transparent book covering do its job? Not really, as you can see. I've had leakage going through. But I actually like that, you know, so I'm, I'm going to leave that. What I ended up doing was putting a totally different branded resin over the top, which set the following day. Now, I don't normally do this, but this stuff's fantastic. I'm onto my fourth type of different resins. And it's amazing clear cast. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Seriously. The following day, that is set. If I can turn it over, this stuff, the water clear resin, I put that in a week ago and that is still soft underneath there. It could be I mixed it wrong, but I have used it before, but it just wasn't having it. Anyway, it's not about that. The transparent book covering. Did it do its job? Yes and no. It kept it together, but there was leakage. Personally, I think it's the MDF it's gone on to. If I can just show you this, I did the same effect on the back of this and I just stuck that on there and there was no leakage and it set proper and that was on the wood. So it might stick better to wood. It could be the MDF, like I say, that's the problem. But it's finished now. It's got a nice shine on it. What I'll do, I'll put it up in the window and we'll see the effect we were looking for. But yeah. 
Thanks for watching. If you're still with me, well done.